Jason. Dang. Oh, sorry. Um, wow. Wow. This is really. Can I kiss the vibe now? <laughs> Look amazing. Yeah, you'll face too. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, Love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, to make her holy, cleansing her with the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Um, I take you, Jocelyn, to be my wife, to be my consistent friend, my heart, my one true love. Um, on this day, I'm here to reaffirm not only in front of our families, but in front of God to, 
to proclaim my unwavering commitment to you. Um, I commit to stand by your side and not only in sickness and in health, um, but also through times of sorrow and in good times. Um, I promise to love you without reservation, to comfort you in times of distress, laugh with you, cry with you, and grow with you. Um, Joe, as we stand here today, two years ago, um, this has been nothing short of a dream come true, being with you. Um, at the start of our journey, we've learned to love each other properly, how to support one another, how to understand one another. And um, we've just shared so many you know, unforgettable moments and that joy of, of being with you has always just made me want to be a better husband, a better father, um, a better son, and just, it's just grown me in ways I could never imagine. Um, in fact, I find myself loving you more and more every day. Um, and there's just no other person I'd want to protect and head into the storms of life with than just you. And so it's my utmost pleasure to say I do again in front of everybody here today, and I'll always will for the rest of my life. Thank you. When I prayed for a husband, I asked God, sorry, that he be a believer, filled with God's love, a family man protecting and providing, honest, caring, and kind, educated, fit, and fine. <laughs> and as I prayed for a husband, little did I know I was praying for you. Standing here today, I can't believe it's been nearly two years since we first said I do. It's amazing how time changes when you're living the life you've always dreamed of. You've seen me at my most vulnerable and raw self and chose to love me in all my imperfections, which sometimes requires a difficult conversation, a thoughtful critique, or just the right amount of unrequested feedback. <laughs> We've experienced an extensive range of emotions together, and through it all, one thing has remained consistently present, and that is the love between us. Love is not stagnant. It encompasses growth, change, flexibility, accountability, and diligence. You stand as evidence that love is not an emotion. It's a choice, and it's our commitment to one another. This choice to love and continue to love is what grounds us. Each and every day, you embody the biblical principles of love, and our relationship continues to grow stronger because of it. As our journey continues, I promise you loyalty, respect, devotion, and unconditional love for a lifetime. I promise to continue praying with you, building with you, and dreaming with you. And while I'm still working on being your smallest headache, <laughs> I promise to remain your biggest cheerleader and your biggest fan.
pronounce this beautiful couple standing here before us as husband and wife. I introduce to you <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Dibonge. Yeah. 